When you're listening to your favorite blues music and you're hearing the solos, do you ever wonder, wow, why is it so much more melodic? Why did it, why can I hear the chord changes in their playing? They're not only using the blues scale. They're mixing several other scales together to get a sound that moves with the harmony a little better. One of the key tools for this is a mode called Mixolydian. So today I'm going to show you C Mixolydian and how to incorporate it into your C blues and take it and apply it to your other blues as well. New ukulele tutorials every single Wednesday and Saturday. If you like this kind of stuff, make sure you hit subscribe. And if you love it, think about becoming a Patreon. Link appear in the notes, printable tabs with every single lesson. Additional links in the description, including my email if you want some one-on-one -on -one private lessons. Let's do it. Grab the ukulele, brain and attention span, follow me on in and let's break it down. So let's go ahead and just strum through a blues in C first so you are familiar with the 12 bar structure, just in case you've never played in this key. You need a C7, 0001. You also have this lovely bar choice built on the A7, which would be barring the third fret and your middle finger on the fourth fret of the C string. It's also C7. And there's this cool open shape that's 3003, also a C7. We're gonna be using this one for this example. F7, now it looks like this. It's taking that F shape and then also playing the third fret of the C and the third fret of the high A. Two, three, one, three. So you have a four, finger chord. If you lift your pinky up though, that's still an F7. We're going to be using the four finger shape. If it's too hard, feel free to use this one. You also have, if you bar the fifth fret and get your middle finger on the sixth fret of the A string, you have an F7 here. And then G7. We know the G7, it's our G inverted, so it's zero, two, one, two. You can also take that F shape and move it up two frets to four, five, three, five. You also bar the seventh fret and get your middle finger on the eighth. Those are all G7s. We'll be using this one, again, this one. Feel free if that's too hard to remove the pinky and the C. First four measures, C7, let's give it a down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, three, four, five. Middle four are going to be F7 for two measures and then C for two measures. One, two, three, four. And then we are going to finish off one G7, one F7, one C7, one G7. One, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and strum through it from the top. One, two, three, four. back in the top and that would be your 12 bar blues in the key of C strumming through it with the chords now let's go ahead and break down the mixolydian Let me all right well what is the mixolydian the mixolydian is a mode and so modes are scales that are built from the major scale let's look at the C major scale actually we're gonna play it zero two four five three five two, three, zero, two, four, five, three, five, two, three. This note here, the B note is the seventh degree and it turns your C chord into a C major seven. This note B flat is the flat seven and that's the note that turns a C into a C seven. The mixolydian is a major scale but it takes this note here and moves it down one note. So it's a major scale with a flat seven instead of a regular seven, or a C major scale with a B 
flat instead of a B. So you get zero, two, four, five, three, five, six, three. So we're adding this note here, which is this note here, and it totally changes the sound of what we're doing from a C major to C mixolydian. Now, if you have a low G, it looks more like a shape. It would be three, two, four, five, three, five, six, three. So this six note here, this B flat, is the color tone. That's the one that gives it its personality. Why does this work so good with the blues? Well, your one chord, your principal chord is a C7. That is a C with a B flat, with a flat seven interval. It's C, E, G, B flat. The Mixolydian has a C, E, G, and a B flat. So four of the seven notes in this scale are just in this chord. This scale was tailor-made for this chord. Literally, it is a custom suit made for this chord. So we are going to use it in a rhythm context. And by doing that, we're primarily going to spice up the third and fourth measures, the seventh and eighth, and then our turnaround as well. So our first four are up, and we're going to start off with a C chord. We're going to strum it and mute, and then come up on a C7. One two and and four down mute up up down down mute up up down down mute up up down okay then we're gonna start to shred a little bit three four up to three on the a string six with your pinky and then back to three so there's a couple things here that are very bluesy. One is this third note here that we're playing is not in our Mixolydian scale. Remember it's O, two, four. But this note is in our blues scale. So we're starting this lick in the blues scale and then instantly going to the Mixolydian. Three, four, three, triplets. One pola, two to that sixth fret, the color tone, the magic tone, the note that makes it the Mixolydian, back to three. One pola, two, three, four. One pola, two, three, four. All right, now we're gonna get crazy. This note five is a D note. That's also in the Mixolydian. We're going to do a triplet here that goes five, four, three. This note here, the fourth note, is not. That's just a passing tone. When you have a note and you're jamming any time and you have a note in your scale that's here and here and a note in between that's not, experiment with running through it as a passing tone. You can get some really cool ideas that way. Five, four, three, pinky sixth fret, third fret on the A string, back to six. So there's a triplet there. Two pola. One pola, two pola, three. Third fret, fourth fret, third fret. Three pola. And then from there, you're going to go three, two, one. Three, two, one. This note here is our also the flat fifth part of our blue scale. So that's another color tone. The pros mix Mixolydian with the blue scale. So when can you use it? If it's a C chord, you can use, or if it's a C7, you can use C Mixolydian. If it's an F7, you can use F Mixolydian. And if it's a G7, you can use G Mixolydian. So you just use it over that chord. And because right now we have four measures of C7, we can mix in the Mixolydian, but that doesn't mean we have to do it exclusively. We can also use our blues scale. Okay? So, and our blues scale from shape one would be zero, three, one, two, three, one, three. That's shape five. Shape one would be three, five, six, three, six, three, six. So 
So we have both of those available to mix in, and that's exactly what we're doing here when we go three, two, one. We're using that famous note that turns the minor pentatonic into blues, but we're also going to an F chord. So when we go three, two, one, and get our index finger there, we make our F7, and it's a great transition. So these four measures nice and slow. One, two, and, and four. Down, mute, up, up, down. One pola, two, three, four. One pola, two pola, three pola, four, and one, two, and, mm, mm, mm. Next four up, land on that one, make your F7, down, up, up, down. Four, and one, two, and, and four. Very cool transition, okay? Then from here, we're gonna go pluck, down, up, up, down, and then still over the F7, so you're still singing technically, or this would be where still melody, we're gonna add this double stop idea. Slide three to five, index finger, third fret. This is an A note and a C note. These two notes are in the F7 chord, so just playing chord tones. From there, slide this one down one, and this one down two, three, two. That's a passing on a way to one, zero, an F and an A, which are also in our F chords. Okay, and we get here on the fourth beat, and then we do another pretty serious lick. But let's just practice just the F7. One, down, up, up, down. One, two, and, and four. One, and two, three, four, boom. Land on an open C string after that. Open C string, fourth fret, O4, three. One, two, and three. Pinky up there. And we're gonna do a triplet that goes six, three, five. Very cool. You don't always have to do them in order. It doesn't have to be six, five, three. Six, three, five, three. That reminds me of um, Stormy Monday. It was raining down, 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 down. So we get to three, and it's another triplet. Three, open, open C. So the third measure, nice and slow. One, two, and three pola, four pola. Another triplet, four and three, four pola. C7, you mean you can see these notes we're playing are right inside that C7 chord. Four pola, now we're gonna get a little crazy. Five slide to seven, then your ring finger on the seventh fret here. And that would be two and, and then immediately come back to five and five, make a C7 and play three and four, and then strum the C7 on the fourth beat. So it's one pola, two and three and four. One pola, two and three and four. It's almost harder for me to play it that slow. So you get one, these two measures together. One, two, and three pola, four pola, one pola, two, and three, and four. Make sure you get that finger down. I, I, I messed that lick up two times. Let's do it one more time. There you go. All right, add the F to that. One, two, and, and four. One, and two, three, four. One, two, and three, pola, four, pola, one, pola, two, and three, and four. G7. We're using this one because we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and one. Just the F7 up two frets, down four times, one, two, 
three, four, then move it down half a fret and either up or down, whatever you want. I like all downs. So down on the and and then land on the F7, down four more times. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one. Open C string. Then you're gonna go oath, get your ring finger on the third fret. That's a C note, that's your anchor note. You go one, zero, three, zero, one, three, zero, two, three, zero. I just keep saying zero, sorry. Zero, zero, three, zero, one, three, one, two, three, two, three, three. You can use two fingers or one. Then that G7, make it go up a half step. So it's three, two, three. And use these three fingers. You're not strumming it, you're plucking it. So thumb on the C string, E string, A string. And then down a half step to the G7. Two and three. Four, one, two, pola, three, pola, four, pola, one, two, and three, four, boom, into the top. Let's do two play alongs, one that's nice and slow, and we'll count through it, and then one that's just more natural. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four, one, two, and, and four, one, pola, two, Three, four, one polar, two polar, three polar, four, and one, two, and, and four, one, and two, three, four, one, two, and three polar, four polar, one polar, two, and three, and four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one. Two pola, three pola, four pola, one, two, and three, four, boom. First try, nice. Um, Let's right. play through it one time, no counting. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Also first try. Nice. Why don't we try to put some lyrics to it so you can see how it works in a rhythm context. I, okay. I got my line in the water, but these fish ain't taking my I bait. Got my line in the water, but these fish ain't taking my bait. Could be worse, I could be in the office. So I guess this day, well, is still pretty great. Some improvised lyrics, nothing great, but I wanted to show you how that the vocal phrasing fits with the fills as well. So you can see it's sing for two measures, and that's your basic strumming. And then do you do the fancy stuff? sing for two measures and here it got a little fancy but we're still singing over this and then the fancy stuff right sing for two measures and then you do the turnaround so that's how you would write your own blues song and where you would put the fills if you wanted to do something a little more elaborate all right let me know if you want a full-blown mixolydian solo too I'd be happy to. Do something like that as well and show you how to mix the Mixolydians. And until next time, keep on rocking and rolling. Life is good. And there it was, folks. That is how you apply Mixolydian in the rhythmic context. If you want a lesson 
with me showing you how to apply it with soloing as well, I'd be glad to do that. Just let me know in the comments below. New ukulele Wednesday and Saturday. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, what are you doing? And if you really want to learn, think about becoming a Patreon, cheaper than a cheap cheeseburger. And until next time, keep it bluesy, mix it up with the Mixolydian. Take care, y'all.